Some call him the Chris Angel of Call of Duty, but we know him as Matty Eyes the Magician. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Matty Ice, the Call of Duty Magician, and I am back. This is my return to YouTube. It's been about four to five weeks since I last posted a video, which, to be frank, doesn't really seem like that much time in real life, but on YouTube and internet time, four to five weeks is a lot of time, and uh, it's definitely nice to be back. I had a lot of you guys inquiring on when I, where I went, but I just needed a break. I really did need a break. I was just getting with, bored with YouTube and... I don't know, I didn't have too much motivation to post videos, but the break was awesome, I just hung out with friends more, I focused more on school, I've, got, I've gotten pretty good grades this semester, which is nice, and best of all, I didn't focus on YouTube at all. I remember back in the days, I would literally check Social Blade, which is the, the website that checks your YouTube statistics, I would check that every single day, like 20 times a day, to pretty much an unhealthy point, so... It was great that I took a break, and I'm really happy to be back, and I figured what better way to come back than to put a magic trick on a video, to post a quad chem strike, and to tell a pretty funny story. So uh, let me talk about the gameplay real quick, and then I'll get into the story. So this gameplay here, as you can tell by the title, is a quad chem strike. It's actually the world's first quad chem strike. Now, I know you guys might have actually seen quad chem strikes and even penta chem strikes on YouTube before, but I got this gameplay back in December when nobody was running support. People weren't even trying for this gameplay. And uh, so I'm, I'm positive this is the world's first quad chem strike. And I even actually have an unlisted raw uncut footage um, video of the quad chem strike that I posted back in December. And I'll leave that in the description down below if you guys want to go check that out. Just to make sure I posted this back in December or whatever. But that's enough about the gameplay. Take it with a grain of salt. It's, I mean, it's a pretty good gameplay. We we end up playing against two to three guys at one point for a lot of the game. Um, so it's not the most incredible gameplay ever. But I thought you guys might enjoy it as my return video. And uh, yeah, so uh, this commentary might be a little bit rusty. I haven't done a commentary in a while, so I'm probably not going to be completely on point. But today I figured I would make a, a pretty good return by telling uh, a funny story that happened to me this past semester. It's it's a pretty funny story. I think you guys will enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this starts back freshman year of college. That was last year for me. I'm a sophomore currently. Freshman year of college, I come into college and I don't tell anybody about my YouTube channel. At the time, I had a few thousand subscribers, maybe 5,000 subscribers or something like that um, when I first started college. And I was posting these videos and I basically I would go home once a month and post a bunch of different videos or and I, I would do commentaries and stuff at home that way nobody knew about my YouTube channel and the main reason I didn't want to tell people about my channel is that I didn't want to get judged based on my videos I didn't want people to to say oh that you know that's Matty Ice and and just think about me as my YouTube channel I wanted to be my own person as well I guess that sort of makes sense so basically I figured it would be better not to tell any but anybody about my YouTube channel than to tell everybody about it and be known as that guy that does YouTube. So I didn't tell anybody. Um, freshman spring semester, I pledged for my fraternity, Alpha Epsilon Pi, and we had different events where you learned about the other brothers, you learned about your pledge brothers, and you know, oftentimes you you tell people things that were more intimate and, and closely guarded secrets of yours. And I just didn't really want to tell them about my YouTube channel because uh, you know I figured. I didn't want to be judged on it. I didn't want people to think I was, you know, a loser for making these videos or whatever. And so I kept it a secret. So going to so going into sophomore year, I kept making the videos. Sophomore year, first semester, nobody knows about my YouTube. And sophomore year, second semester, nobody knows about my YouTube either. I do a really good job keeping my YouTube and personal stuff separate. Like literally, 
I don't, I don't follow myself on Twitter, on my personal account. I don't do stuff like that. I keep it completely separate. That way you can't find my stuff you know, by knowing my name and, and knowing other stuff about me. So uh, I really try to keep that stuff separate. But um, there, there was this one night where my fraternity, we had this brotherhood event where basically we hang out for a few hours all together. We play board games. We watch funny videos. We... Uh, watch a little TV, we'll play sports and stuff like that, and uh, we had one of those nights, um, we, we would hang out, you know, for hours on end, and um, so my entire fraternity is there, we're all chilling, about 30, 35 guys, we have a, a pretty small chapter, but uh, we're hanging out, and we're, we're doing random stuff, we're playing a little poker, or playing board games, I can't remember exactly what we're doing, but uh, I look over and I see some guys watching TV, and we have that thing called Chromecast or whatever, where you can plug in uh, a USB um, USB card or whatever, and uh, a USB stick rather, a flash drive, and you can plug it in and watch stuff from your computer onto the TV. So uh, guys had that going. We were, we were, you know, putting random websites on and stuff. And sure enough, I see him pull up YouTube, and I'm like, oh, you know, I wonder what they're pulling up on YouTube. And I was sort of thinking about my channel in the back of my mind, but I figured there's no way they know about my channel. So sure enough, a couple guys come up to me, and, and we, you know, we start talking, and we, we start making conversation. And they're, they start asking me some questions, like, oh, Matt, you know, what's been going on recently? Anything new? And uh, I'm like, you know, things are going pretty well. Working out has been going fine. School has been going great. And uh, then they ask me again, you know, Matt, is there is there anything new? Anything been on your mind recently? And I respond with, you know, things have been going well, just as I said. And I'm really trying to work on the magic tricks a little bit more. I've I've taken a good break from that. And then they ask again, you know, Matt, is there has there been anything on your mind recently? What's been new? And at this point, I know that I know that something's up. I know that they're digging for something. I can't quite figure out what it is. I, I th have in the back of the mind my mind that it could be my YouTube channel, but I, I know there's no way that they could have found my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel isn't linked to any of my personal stuff. I've tried a million times. There's no way you can find my YouTube channel at all. So there's no way they would be asking about that, right? Well, sure enough, you know, they they're keep, they keep probing for something. I can't quite tell what it is. And uh, sure enough, I turn around and I look on the, the TV screen and I see YouTube getting pulled off. And I put two and two together and I'm like, ah, shit, the guys found my YouTube channel. So sure enough, they, they pull up my videos. They start playing a bunch of my videos. And thank God, they really, really like the videos. They think that I have a really cool thing going. They, they love the magic tricks. They like the commentaries as well. They especially like the ones about alcohol. And there was one, there's one commentary I did way back called like alcohol tips or whatever. They really liked that one. And I, they actually, they loved the story about the hickey as well. Um, they thought that one was hilarious of that awful description of the hickey. Um, so thank God they really enjoy the, the videos. Honestly, like it would have would have just been pretty devastating if they just started ripping on me and shitting on me. I mean, I probably could have taken it, but it's just like, you know, it's something that I don't really feel completely comfortable revealing to all my IRL friends and having my fraternity find out all at once, literally everybody right in front of me. Uh, it was definitely a bit of a shocker for me, but it was it was a fun night. We chilled out. We watched a lot of my videos. We lots watched some magic tricks and whatever, and uh, I think everyone had a good time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that little story. That was my return to YouTube. If you guys have any questions about uh, my fraternity or how we, how they found out about my videos or the story overall, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And even if you don't have any questions, just let me know how life's been. I'll respond to all your comments and whatever. And uh, yeah, so my plan for the future, I'm going to keep uploading the videos. I might have to be a little more careful about which magic trick tutorials I upload because then they're going to be watching the videos as well. Um, but we'll see. Um, so that's the end of the video, guys. Guys, this has been my return to YouTube. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the magic trick, the story, and the gameplay in the background. Once again, my name is Matty Ice, the Call of Duty Magician. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.